Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be making a super simple gift card holder or little packaging idea for some treats or a small gift. And I'm using some elements and papers and stamps from the Botanical Prints product medley that is retiring from the Stampin' Up! Um, catalog, the June Mini, January to June uh, 2020. So let's get started. This is so simple. And I'm starting with another print from the paper, that paper stack that comes in that medley. And it measures six by six. And then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to take some tear and tape and I'm going to put some down one side and I usually choose the left side. And then I'm going to take about three inches or so and go across the center, what I call the bottom here, okay? So I'm gonna rub on this tear and tape a little bit to make it easier to lift. And get my take your pick tool and just pull up on that. Take that paper backing off the bottom piece and the side piece. Let's see if this one will work with me a little better. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take and fold over the two sides and I want to match and just lap over enough to catch that tape on the other side and then bring it down and match this other side edge to edge. And then we're just going to press down and adhere. And then I'm going to push the one side next to the taped side on the bottom and push just like that. So that's super simple. I see where I have a little bit where I didn't get it even. So I'm gonna trim off that edge that's showing there. Then I like to add a little bit of fanciness to this bottom. So this is a super simple way to do it. And so I've got my Simply Scored scoring tool here and I'm going to get my stylus. And I put the opened in toward the edge over here and this lines up right here at the six inch mark. Six inch mark. So I'm gonna mark it at every one eighth inch. And what I mean mark, I mean score. So I'm just gonna come down and follow the lines. This is the bottom that's taped and do that for one inch. And that makes a fun little close, closure for the bottom and makes it look a little fancy, okay? So now we'll finish this up by adding a little tag. And so I've already stamped this image from the Botanical Prints stamp set and there's a coordinating die that cuts that out. But I want to mount that on something that will contrast from behind. So I am going to punch out a two inch circle of one of these black and white prints that is the reverse side of the floral. Then I'm going to take some basic black cardstock and use the Starburst Punch, which is retiring from Stampin' Up! Available while supplies last. And then we're going to mount these together. So let's use a little bit of liquid glue and put that over top. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the flower image. Now within the medley, there are also some pre um, printed die cuts that are beautiful. And let me show you a few of those here. I've used some, but you can see you could choose uh, several different options there for your little gift card holder or your cards. Okay, so now I know I'm going to put that right there, but I want a little bit of ribbon behind. And so in the medley also is this old olive twill ribbon, and I'm going to cut about eight inches and angle this edge. And then to put this on here, I'm just going to cross and leave a little loop at the top. And to adhere it, I'm just gonna very easily take a piece of tear and tape. And let's see, let me loop this again. 
and put it almost to the top and I'm just going to tape it right across the center and I'm just going to leave that uh, protective tape on top so it's just like a, a good sticky tape there and then this is going to go over top like that so I'm going to use tear and tape again to make sure it gets a good hold and I don't have to wait for it to dry let me pull this off and let's see let's center that just like that and then I want to stamp a little sentiment and so within the medley there are also these die cut labels and I have the word friend already mounted and I am going to use some memento black ink to go along with the black we've used as an accent on this and I'm just going to stamp that right in the center there of that long banner label I'm just going to punch that right out and then we'll put that here along the bottom I think I'm going to just use liquid glue for this put that there and then we also have some of these beautiful little uh, copper bees, honey bees, that we can use. And I thought I had put some on some, here it is, already on a mini glue dot. And then I'm just going to attach that right there. And we'll let that dry. And there, a gift card fits perfectly in there. You can always punch a hole here and then thread ribbon through that if you so desire or just leave it open to fill with treats and here's one done in a different print with some lemons okay i hope you'll give that a try if you have any questions let me know visit my website at inkandinspirations.com and be sure and sign up for my mailing list so you can get my ideas in your inbox weekly and i will see you again soon take care bye bye